Martha Stewart has certainly lived an interesting and prominent life, but as she gets up in years, she's been searching for romance more and more. But did you know that Martha Stewart recently divulged that she might want her friends to die all in the name of having a successful love life? It's a fun and funny twist to Martha's search for love in her later years. Stick around as Facts First presents Martha Stewart Wants Her Friends to Die for This Bizarre Reason. Originally named Martha Kostria, Stewart was born in 1941 in Nutley, New Jersey, to a Polish Catholic family as the eldest of six kids. As a child, Martha got a taste for succeeding in business as she earned money as a 10-year-old by becoming a birthday planner. She'd plan the parties of the neighboring children who lived nearby. That certainly showed her from an early age that she had some natural business acumen. As a teen, she began to develop into quite a beauty, and she immediately set to using this asset to her advantage. She started modeling, earning around 50 bucks an hour as a model for companies ranging from Terryton Cigarettes to Chanel. She was tall at 5'9 and gorgeous, and yet had a knack for posing in somewhat distant-seeming ways. And yet, at the same time, she exuded charm and sexuality. It was this vibe she later used in both her business success and her love life. Martha's Dating History Flash forward to today, Martha is now enjoying the many fruits of a lifetime of success. Of course, that does include her stint in jail for insider trading, so it certainly hasn't been all wine and roses. But as she ages, she's continued to search for love. She was in a long-time marriage from 1961 to 1990 with Andrew Stewart. They got together when he was a student at Yale Law, and she was still an up-and-coming star. They had their daughter Alexis in 1965. After her divorce to Stewart, Martha started seeing actor Anthony Hopkins, but that fizzled after she watched the Oscar-winning film The Silence of the Lambs. While she certainly appreciated his performance, apparently it creeped her out to the point where she had trouble not linking Anthony and his character Hannibal Lecter in her mind. Later, she dated a billionaire named Charles Simonyi, who had made his money working for Microsoft. The two saw each other on and off for about 15 years, but that ended in early 2008. She told Chelsea Handler she wanted her friends to die. In more recent times, Martha hasn't found anyone she wants to seriously date, let alone settle down with. But this isn't because she doesn't want to, nor is it because she's not on the lookout for eligible men. She seems to be running into a different sort of roadblock. Martha was recently a guest on Chelsea Handler's podcast. During their chat, Chelsea inquired about Martha's dating and love life. Martha revealed she still very much meets and is around men she finds attractive. She even noted to Handler that she'd recently felt crushes on two different men within the last month. The problem, she revealed, is her crushes are usually on unavailable men. She noted one of the men she was recently crushing on was actually married to a friend of hers. In response, Handler pointed out that Martha probably didn't want to be a homewrecker, and Martha agreed. She made sure to insist she's never been a homewrecker, despite opportunities in that vein that have arisen over the years. She doubled down on her current issue, saying that often when she meets men, she finds out they're married to friends of hers. Handler certainly understood how frustrating that must be for Stewart, because she told Stewart they're both at an age where they wonder whether or not their friends' relationship will only be temporary. She pointed out that whenever they have a crush on a man in a relationship, they have a secret hope his current relationship will fizzle. And while Martha might have agreed with that sentiment, she actually replied with a more shocking take. She said, quote, or maybe they'll die. She continued saying, I always think, oh gosh, couldn't that person just die? Handler asked if she was referring to the wives, a.k.a. Martha's friends. Martha confirmed this, saying hopefully it wouldn't be a painful death, but a death nonetheless. Now it's clear Martha was being tongue-in-cheek and likely not wishing her actual friends an early death just so she could swoop in and take their man. But it was still a remarkable thing to hear from a legendary celebrity. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. A pool photo is also why Martha is still single. Fans of Martha Stewart or Chelsea Handler might be aware of some fun photos they took recently, both showing off their glamorous faces as they swam in their home pools. First, Stewart posted her selfie on social media. The shot was a close-up of her face by the edge of her backyard pool. Though the background is fairly blurry, it looks to be as elegant and tasteful as you'd expect the style guru's backyard to be. Then, for a bit of fun, Handler did a recreation in her own pool with the same exact setup. The two women are clearly friendly, and it was all meant as a bit of Instagram-based fun. Martha even posted an online comment in response, pointing out her pool was a little more elegant, and that Chandler was far too young to be comparing herself to Martha. 
Later, in a preview video for her show Martha Knows Best on HGTV, Martha and Chelsea were seen chatting about that photo exchange. Martha noted that the two of them, quote, became very famous from the two photos. Obviously, the two were already quite famous, but Stewart was having some fun with the topic. She pivoted, though, saying that because of her photo, she's been receiving marriage proposals. She asked Handler if she'd been getting the same from her own photo. Handler replied she hadn't, but she asked Stewart if any of the proposals were from men she'd actually consider marrying. Stewart replied that she didn't even pay attention because she was having too much fun basking in the glow of Instagram fame that came because of her pool selfie. She poked fun at herself for doing so, saying that was what was wrong with her and was the actual reason she's still single after a long marriage. Martha and Larry King Late last year, Martha went on Watch What Happens Live and spoke to host Andy Cohen about her love life. During the interview, she talked about an evening she once spent with legendary TV journalist Larry King. She said she and King went to dinner at a New York City restaurant called Elio's. During what she assumed would be a more business-like dinner, apparently King took things to a more amorous place. Stewart revealed that as they chatted about the things you'd expect for them to talk about, King changed the vibe a little bit. He started getting, quote, amorous. Stewart didn't qualify to Cohen what exactly she meant by amorous, but she did remember that everyone in the restaurant took notice of the two of them. She theorized it was perhaps because they were potentially an odd pairing. She pointed out that Larry wasn't the type of guy she'd usually go for. Cohen responded he'd heard that King was known for being quite well endowed. Stewart replied saying she wouldn't know since things never reached that point on their date. She did make sure to say that King, who died in 2021, was a very nice man and one of the kindest television hosts out there. In the same interview, Martha revealed that she is, in fact, dating someone new, but she quickly added that she had no intention of telling Cohen about it or revealing who he is publicly. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Martha Stewart will get married again? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click join and we'll see you inside the membership tab.